Within our LinkedIn profile, we have an area called Featured. And here we can add in links to posts or landing pages or somewhere in particular that we really want to highlight for people to actually go to. So things like your lead magnet would be a great thing to send people to or to a signature program or to someone where they can sign up for your newsletter, whatever it might be where you're wanting people to actually land on. So what I found was when you actually go in here to, um, to add something is it's not straightforward to see how you go ahead and um, add a link that is going to take someone to a page and make it show up in a way that makes people want to go ahead and click on it. So I just wanted to run you through this and show you the way that I have done it. So I went to Canva and I created some, just some generic posts so that there's, there's some kind of similarity between them. And this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and add in just a moment. So um, what I wanted to show you is the size of these. Now, I don't know if this is the correct size, but it seems to work fine for me. So I've done them at 480 by 270, and that seems to work just fine. So I've downloaded one of these images, so it's ready for me to go ahead and use. And now when I come back over to my LinkedIn profile, I can choose to add one of these options. So I can add a post, a newsletter, an article, add a link, or add media. Now what I really want to do is add a link. So when I click in here, all I get is an option to actually add the link. And I don't have any control over what the image is gonna look like when I go ahead and add it. So let me find the link to my masterclass that I'm wanting to link to. And then we can add this. So once I've grabbed the link, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to add it in here and I'm gonna click on add. And then it's gonna show up a preview of how this looks. So just give it a moment and it's going to bring it up for us. So this here is the free masterclass. Now I've actually added this into my post, so that's why this is showing up. And in fact, it's fine. I could leave this like this. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with how this looks. And then I can go ahead and add a description in here. So um, you can see the description just in the background here that I have written. So I'm just gonna press pause and I'll come back and, and write this in for here. Okay, so once you've added your description, you're gonna notice that you have to have 500 characters or less. So I'm just going to take out the last few words of that. And so now I've got my description, I've got my link, it's got the title, you can change the title if you want to, and the thumbnail, which I have no control over. Actually, let me just go ahead and see. Um, ah, it is letting me um, go ahead and add in my own thumbnail in here, which is great, it didn't do this before. Okay, so I've added in my own image. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, and let me just check that it shows up correctly, and it does, ta-da, there you are. Um, that's all you need to do to get started. So then you can have, a nice kind of uniform, I would, I would suggest you have these as uniform because I've got one in here that I added ages ago and it just looks different. Um, it was to a blog post and I didn't change the preview on it. So have the ones, especially the first three, which are the ones that are going to show up in some kind of um, uniform format um, so that they look branded and, um, and that's it. That's all that you need to do. I was going to show you this tool which is called the Post Inspector which enables you to see how things are gonna show up on LinkedIn. Um, if I go ahead and if I add in this link in here, I can show you what I mean. So this means that when you add um, links into your, um, into your posts, for example, this is how they're gonna show up. So this one is showing up with the previous preview. Um, and so if I add the link into a post in um, LinkedIn, this is what's gonna show up. And you can change these settings in Yoast if you're wanting a different image to show up here. So um, let me just go over and show you Yoast. So I've come over to the page and I'm going to click on edit page. I'm not sure if that clicked. So you can come into this via your dashboard in the, in the normal way. You just don't want to be in the Divi Visual Builder. Um, 
you want to be in this area here where we have access to Yoast. And so in here, within Yoast, you can see we have social options. And here I've uploaded that image that we saw earlier. I've uploaded it as the Facebook image, but that carries across all of the social media platforms. So if I wanted to change it, I could replace that image in here and that's where I would do it. So I've already added one in here. Yours will be blank if you haven't added one. So all you do is you just go ahead and, um, and add your image in here and that's what will show up as the preview on Facebook and on LinkedIn. And that's it. So you know now how to um, make sure that your previews are showing up correctly and also how to go ahead and add in these links into the featured area of LinkedIn.